Uh, my name is Steve Swanson. I'm a professor in the Computer Science and Engineering Department. And this is CSC 91, a uh, class I call Robot Parade, or Designing and Building Robots. And it's a class for brand new freshmen. So these are all in their first quarter, all the students here in their first quarter at UCSD. Um, and the idea is to get them into the Maker Studio uh, and get some hands-on experience building things and programming things in the real world. And the way the class works is for the first four weeks, we have them uh, work with pro robots that we built for them, like this. Uh, and they have different features. This is an LED array. There's a little uh, speaker to make noise. Uh, and it can drive around. Uh, so they learn how to drive the robots around, how to program them, um, and kind of the basics of getting around the Maker Studio. And then for the next two weeks, we have a different robot that has some sensors, distance sensors, and has a gripper and some other things. Uh, and then after they've learned to use those robots for four weeks, then they get to design their own robot. Uh, using some software that my lab has developed that makes it really easy for people without a lot of electronics experience to build um, things like simple robots. So we manufacture them and then today we're assembling them and they're going to program them uh, for the next uh, two weeks in the quarter. And then we'll have a big party at the end where they all drive around and interact and run amok. I don't think there's going to be too much destruction. Um, but I guess we'll see. We've never had quite this many robots. So at the, uh, in the, for the final uh, robot parade will have about uh, probably 40 of the robots that they've built and we'll throw some of these pre-built robots in there too, so maybe 50 or 60 robots all together. Um, we'll see what happens. We've built this class so that uh, it's specifically supposed to be uh, accessible to anyone. So you need no skills at all. We teach it um, in parallel with CSC 11, so they're learning to program in that class. And then we've sort of matched the programming that we do in here to line up with what they're learning in that class. So they can come in uh, with nothing and come out with a working robot. The Maker Studio is part of this um, JSO initiative for uh, getting freshmen in to do things hands-on very early. And so this is the computer science class that is part of that effort. So we have the 3D printers, we have the laser cutter, we have the foam cutters. Uh, and so one, one week of this class we talk about 3D printing and they design something to be 3D printed and people have built some pretty creative things that they're going to attach to their robots to kind of give them a little extra personality. This is supposed to be a territorial seal. If you guys heard about uh, Gerald, like from Finding Dory, he's a seal. He, he's got like wonky eyes and he's always bullied and like chased off the rock. And you know how seals like their own rock? Uh, so. This is like the revenge of Gerald, so he kind of took up like the center 15 centimeter radius area for most of the time it was running. So it basically just goes in a circle looking for things that's closer than 15 centimeters and then chases them and pushes them away. Okay, so Gerald has a distance sensor in the front and this allows it to see, it senses distance in front of it. So whenever something is less than 15 centimeters in front of it, it'll chase it and then it'll like run into it and once it becomes zero centimeters it'll think that it has pushed it away far enough and then it'll back up and continue its search in a circle. Uh, they seem to like it really well, um, especially at the end when the robots are all there driving around interacting with one another, it's pretty exciting. Um, I've had really good response from students that have taken the class, uh, that have come back and have been tutors for the class, they've been very enthusiastic about it. For a lot of the students, it was completely brand new to them. Putting together their robots and programming them, at least the first time when I did it, I could say it was definitely a cool experience and I could definitely see some of the students sharing that sentiment as well. A lot of what we try to teach in this class is just ways to think about programming. And I would say that some of the skills learned in this class can definitely be taken forward using finite state machines, programming their robots using C++ and Arduino. Giving them early exposure to that will prepare them for things that they might see in the future. Uh, trying to find the best way to express what you want the robot to do and to have it actually do it is a really satisfying feeling to see being done. So the idea is to get them hands-on experience really early so that they know that they can build something. A lot of these students have never soldered before, maybe they've never built anything before. Maybe all the programming they've done has been just in the computer. Uh, but here we're programming things in the real world. That raises some interesting programming problems. And it also is very kind of uh, uh, kind of instant gratification of seeing something that you've built drive around and interact with things in the real world. So the hope is to get them excited, um, hopefully uh, 
get them to stay in computer science, learn more about computer science, and do well in the major. Thank you.